Would Dragon Ball Z gravity training actually work? In Dragon Ball Z, our favorite Z fighters use gravity training to increase their power level to over 9,000! But would it actually work in real life? The answer may actually surprise you, so let's jump in. Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, and several other fighters in Dragon Ball use methods such as the hyperbolic time chamber, the gravity room, and other planets, such as King Kai's, to increase their power levels to take on the most vicious beings in the multiverse. So the gravity on Earth is considered to be 1G, but the gravity in Dragon Ball's training settings can range from 10Gs to 450 plus Gs. So first of all, could we even create these types of settings? Well, here's a quote. High G training is done by aviators and astronauts who are subject to high level levels of acceleration. It is designed to prevent a G-induced loss of consciousness, a situation when the action of G-forces moves the blood away from the brain to the extent that consciousness is lost. And all of this is created by using human centrifuge. And who's to say one couldn't be designed with fitness training in mind for the future, especially in space with spinning stations such as the Stanford Taurus. Now I'm going to give you the straight up answer right off the bat to if we as normal humans could train in scenarios of super high gravity. The answer is no. Not only could we not train, but we also could not even live for long periods of time. Let's take the obvious first. If you're an average human weighing in around 150 pounds and we put you in Dragon Ball starting high gravity training at 10 Gs, you would literally weigh 1,500 pounds. That means you would be crushed by the weight. Not even the world's strongest man can squat or deadlift that kind of weight, let alone walk around with it all day and night. So your body weight is the obvious factor that comes to mind, but what about the things you may not consider, i.e. your blood, organs, and bones? Imagine the amount of pressure in 10 G's just laying on the ground, or the strain on your blood to come back up from your legs to your heart. Simply put, it just couldn't happen. So yeah, this training is uh, impossible. However, there may be a way in which it sort of works. But before we get into that, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button as it not only helps the channel, but it also may help inspire others to get in shape like their favorite characters. So I guess what I'm saying is that for every like this video gets, there's a better chance that someone gets some gains, bro. Oh, and if you're new here, my name is Devin, AKA Action Ricker. I'm a trainer and strength coach helping you get in shape like your favorite characters with minimal equipment. Okay, so we've established that it's possible to create these higher gravitational environments for training, but that doesn't mean we'd want to do it. In fact, we definitely wouldn't want to do it. However, here's how it's possible that it could potentially work, and of course this is all just a theory. A film theory! So we can't handle 10 Gs that's been established, but we could handle 1.1 Gs. That would make our 150 pound subject from earlier only 165 pounds. That's more reasonable. Now this type of training would be similar to, say, a weighted vest style of training, which could be good for body weight types of exercises. However, in our scenario, the weight would be evenly distributed throughout the entirety of the body. If we were doing this in just a gravity room setting in which we came back out to our normal environment over time, then the training wouldn't be much different than that of traditional weight training. However, imagine we create an artificial environment in which people live there their whole lives. It could even just be on another planet that's 1.1 times Earth's gravity. Now let's say this person lives, works, and trains there all the time. Then let's say we eventually crank it up to 1.2 Gs and then 1.3 Gs and so on. My theory is that a singular person would be much stronger than they would be in only one G especially in movements that aren't necessarily trained in a gym environment, like for instance, just walking normally. However, if we were to take that person out of the environment, they would most likely lose all their gains really quickly. Think about how weak astronauts get by just being in space where there's zero Gs, especially if they don't have a training regimen up there. So then we really only have two options in which it could theoretically work and be beneficial. Number one, a person would spend most of their life in the gravity room only to come out when it's necessary for maybe competition. Like if a runner were to always be running in 1.1 Gs and then on the day of the competition, they would come out and feel light as a feather. Having said this, that would actually lead into biomechanical issues in terms of running technique in 1.1 G versus 1 G, but that's for another video. Either way, option one isn't really optimal. The second option is the long term. What I mean by that is that we as humans have adapted over time to using 1G. Imagine for a moment that we traveled to a planet in which the gravity was 1G, but increased every Earth year by something like 0.005 Gs. That's a totally random number, but you get the point. Then over the course of thousands or millions of years, assuming the humans didn't die yet, humans could theoretically adapt to an environment that's perhaps 450 times Earth's gravity. Then if they came back to Earth, holy cow, they'd be like Superman or uh, <coughs> Goku. That would actually be really crazy. And who's to say there aren't beings in the universe already training at 450 Gs? And that's why we need to start training as soon as we can. We need each other to be strong. And if you need help with that, well, 
I have an ebook for you. Your home fitness program, all about how to start training with little to no equipment. And I think you'll find it helpful, especially if you're new to training or just want a structured program that you can really implement from anywhere. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.